It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Mattis Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1996, recorded Thursday, July 11th, 2024. Disco Potty! episode of that Gizwiz Diggity has two incredibly inexpensive gadget. What the heck is it? I continue with my summer party gadgets the first time and your viewer videos all next on the Gizwiz. It's the same dumb show with Dicky D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now, now, and here he is, our exclusive gadget correspondent, Dick D. Bartolo. Wow. How you doing, Diggy D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. Doing very good. So how was your... Uh, we did our last show on July 3rd. 3rd. And you were doing two nights of fireworks. Yes. It was... Were they spectacular? It was. It was great. So um, the biggest issue... So my plan last week had been to swoop into Magic Kingdom, watch the Magic Kingdom fireworks... Uh, and then the next day go to Epcot because Epcot's fireworks only happen once and Magic Kingdom's happens the day before and the day of. So you can watch both uh, unique fireworks shows if you plan it that way. The issue with Magic Kingdom is that yeah. you have to get into it with, by ferry boat or by monorail. And... They have the world's largest parking lot. I think literally. If not the world's largest, like the second or third. You know, like it's hu humongous. So when doing the mental math after the show, is right after the show, I was kind of like calculating, can I get over there? I don't think I can. I don't think I can park, get on there, get on the monorail or ferry boat, get past the security line, find a place to watch the fireworks. Just don't think I can do it. But I'm a smart little cookie. You give a mouse a cookie. Um, so what I did instead was you can park at the Magic Kingdom parking right next to security to get into the monorail and ferry boat is a pathway over to the Polynesian Resort, which has a sandy beach lake overlook to oh. Magic Kingdom. And the Magic Kingdom fireworks are really unique for the 4th of July because there are 360 fireworks. They fire off in locations that don't typically... Uh, fire off from oh. so I didn't get the 360 view but I got a really awesome and absolutely it was it was a fa it was a fantastic walk over you know it, I didn't have to fight any crowds it's oh, very you know great. low population you know spot uh, it was crowded there was lots of people there but it, but it was not as crowded as Magic Kingdom and I uh, got to watch it so that ended up being perfect uh, and then Epcot uh, just ended up being uh, pretty easy, you know, just got there, waited until the fireworks, watched them. They're, they're really cool. They, they do a, um, they did a weird thing this year. I, I thought that it was going to just be one crazy show of fireworks, but it was their normal show. And then in addition to a extra fireworks show and they, the centerpiece, like the finale of that is like a half ton of fireworks. I mean, they just oh, like wow. all the tubes just <laughs> like, it's insane. Uh, that's that's how it's, they're like, how many fireworks can we set off in a second? We're gonna test it. And that's like the big finale. Um, I didn't videotape it. I did, I have videotaped my experience with this last year. So if you look at my OMG Chat IRL YouTube channel, you can see it. But this year I just enjoyed it. What'd you do? What were you up to? Well, we we went down to the river, and uh, as I explained last week, normally when it, they were in the Hudson River, the barges went uh, pretty far. The last barge was at 79th Street, and <laughs> right outside the marina. So, like, the fireworks were under them. Um, this year, the furthest up the river was 34th Street, but I think people didn't realize that because the park was packed 
and we saw the Macy's fireworks from two and a half miles away. Wow. And this is what it looks like from two and a half miles away. You can still see them. It's still loading. Why won't it's they? still load? How could that I'm, possibly? I've been refreshing constantly. Have you been as you've been uh, preambling, and I can't. Uh, YouTube is uh, glitched. I get to see a frame of it. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Anyway, Dang it, it was dead. Yeah. Because you, you know, can, if, one you can fr- see. if one frame comes in, you can stop it. That'll I'm be trying. Fun. I'm like pause, <laughs> pause on the frame. Um, that is a right. Here, I have I have an idea on how to grab that frame. One second. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and then we went home and and watched uh, the TV. I was kind of disappointed in it because it seemed like they were selling more musical numbers. Oh, there we go. There you go. Here's the so frame. I, I, yeah. Yeah. There, but that's there's a, a great view. No, it is. It is. And you know that this is uh, as I said. Two and a half miles away, the fireworks were at 34th Street, and we are at 84th Street, 50 blocks away, and it's uh, 20 blocks a mile, so two and a half miles. Um, So it's still pretty good. Yeah. Uh, And then it started raining. They were predicting storms. (laughs) It started raining sort of as the last firework went off. So that was all perfect. Oh, that is great. Oh, great. Yeah, and then uh, there was so much. We watched it, uh, the uh, recording of it. There were so many musical acts. It was sort of like they would cut to the fireworks as an as an after effect. I don't know. Uh, oh, uh, I see. Were, they were there, just like a there, background. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There were a lot of complaints on social media about who produced that thing. That is so but, funny. Yeah. The one thing that was amazing, and I, I think. I don't know how fast you could find it. They had, oh, I don't know, a thousand drones that came from everywhere and formed the Macy's star. Oh, wow. And then after they formed the Macy's star, each drone spit fire. It was like the star was burning. And I'm thinking, how how could that be? <laughs> Without ruining the drone, but anyway, <laughs> there's doing was... all sorts of crazy stuff with drones. Like, yeah, uh, uh, fireworks to the top of them is new to me, and have not seen that before. I, yeah. I am very impressed with the drone shows that I've been seeing. Uh, Disney just started a new one, um, but I, I've seen videos of like that. Uh, there was one over the Tesla Gigafactory that I watched. Um, I've seen a few. I think Paris has done a few uh, drone shows. Every time I see one, I'm still amazed. Um, Absolutely. captures captures my imagination just like fireworks. They are really, really cool. Yeah. Um, And probably in the long run, I don't know how much it costs to do that, but at least there's no cleanup and you don't have to worry about the- It's reusable entertainment. Yeah, it's reusable. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, 100% agree. Is yeah. uh, is uh, yeah. That seems that seems great. Um, I cannot get this video to play. I have still. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm I, trying. I, I, you got the still store. Yeah, so that I got the, peop- the yeah, still that, image. That was all we all we really needed. I was trying to go back channels and and check the servers and yeah, it was not it's not working. Um, well, it sounds like we both had fantastic Fourth of July. Yeah. No, it was very good. It That's was very great. good. That's great. A lot of fun. Um, Okie dokie. Well, let's uh, 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 let's jump in with a what the heck is it? Ooh. It's time for a kind of strange what the heck is it? Mm-hmm. If you ever get guess just seeing that much of it? <laughs> it's like an alligator. An alligator. It totally looks like uh, an alligator. I'll show you a little more of it. What? Yeah, a little more of it. It almost looks like a uh, Swiss Army knife uh, alligator. <laughs> That's sort of it. okay. Oh, it, it, it's actually of... it's one of the most reasonably priced things I have ever seen because it is a crevice brush what? or a brush to clean every little thing that you find hard to clean, like. The inside of a coffee pot, 
the ridges of your drinking mug. So you oh. have this. Then you have that can go in and you can have a slide out brush. Somehow this rotates so that you can brush things. This is, wish we had, I'll, I'll get one here to show you what I mean. But like a knife in there. A screw off coffee cup thing. You, you know, like, like a thermos. There's always coffee the, cutting. Oh, in the, yeah. Uh, the ridges, ridges are always stay the dirty. Threads. This goes yeah, the around threads. the cap no, yep. to clean out of there. I have You can also one use right this now. to clean surfaces that are hard to clean. Turns out that they're great to clean fun. fingernails. That thing at the <laughs> like end. Like a little <laughs> alligator. It comes in. They're, they're called a gap cleaning brush. And what did you think? What, what would you think this cost? Uh, you get three of them, Chad. So take a guess. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. uh, uh, $20. Yeah, $25. I don't know why you need three, but they send you three. And they are. Was there three of them? It was $5. What? Now we're going to have Chad yeah. check. Uh, Five. Yes. The non prime price. But. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh then I sign onto a computer without like signing in. Idea. And it was still $5. It say it is. Right? I can confirm right well, now. You see, this is the kind of thing I mean. Oh, the the, ring, uh, AliExpress got nothing on this. The lid to like a coffee thing. <laughs> Temu is trembling. Temu is trembling. Uh, a little quickie <laughs> gift to give somebody. You buy three for five dollars and just give somebody one of them. <laughs> I think this is very clever. I forget the coffee mug. We can never get the hair out of the this. Oh, it's a great trimmer brush. Huh? Yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah, they always give you one with it, you know but what? it's like so tiny. And yes, we, good and luck we lost keeping it. track. Yeah, we're getting a lot of it out. It's, it's perfectly designed to this fall the off the ridiculous. counter into this the This is a brand new Con Air because it says, to clean it, just take out these two screws. Oh. So you take it out, it's spring-loaded. Parts go flying. Oh. Springs, I the brushes, the blade. I ended blade. up buying uh, another. Hmm. So I you could know not what? put it back together. I bought another one. This is great. Okay. We were using. If you need a trimmer recommendation, I, I got a one. A push pin. Oh, okay. Through the brush oh, see if I can it it. <laughs> but it wasn't as good as that one. No. And you said you wanted what you wanted to take one upstairs because you needed it for you know? cleaning the edges of skillets and things. Oh, the the edges. Of, okay. We all right. So we got out a lot of. Look at this. All right. That is a. That's this great. is really great. This thing was so full of hair. Eh? Not that I use it. Okay. <laughs> um, that's great. Uh, I can't remember which trimmer I got. Do you, uh, there's a subreddit. You know Reddit and how they have subreddits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, there's one called Buy It For Life, which basically is recommends products that like basically never break. So buy it, buy it once, and you've bought it for life. It's gonna last your whole life. Buy it for life. Is that the? Is that a brand? No, that's the subreddit. That's the community it, on Reddit. Oh, oh, oh I that's see. That's what the I community oh. is called. And they recommended. I'll find it for next week. Uh, okay. A, a trimmer. Uh, just looking at your trimmer. Back on topic, though. I digress. Back to the three-in-one gap brush. That's. I like it. What a price. Seriously, that is so cheap. Yeah. And I, you get three of them. Yeah, the threads of... Oh, someone had an interesting idea. They said, well, if you clean your fingernails with something, then you don't want to clean something else with the same brush. So maybe nah. it's good to have a couple. Nah. <laughs> nah, I don't care. I don't know. Come on, clean run it your, under the nah, hot water. Clean your fingernails. The and here's the next step. Dawn. And then, and then underneath the water, and you're good. Good to go. Yeah. Uh, my opinion. I, I, my opinion. No, uh, I agree. I agree. No, uh, no, uh, no harm, no foul. You know, I'm not gonna come into your house to tell you how to clean up your stuff. Uh, no. Yeah, but uh, no, I think it's a very clever idea. Very clever. Yeah, 
Yeah, and I do I do like having three, because yeah, I, I mean, anything, to, to be fair, anything's gonna get a bit grody after a while. Just... No, absolutely. Also, here we can leave one in each bathroom. So, you know, Dennis wants one, I have one in the studio, one in the Oh my, my gosh, so this would be amazing around sink thingies. Knobs? Oh, the faucet, you mean? Yes, faucet knobs. Oh, my gosh. Just a little brush. Yeah. That'd be great. Anyway, Underneath. I like the gadget. Great okay. price. Uh, moving on, I guess. Okay. Uh, okay, another uh, gadget. And as you as, as you see the features, think of what it costs. Uh, here okay. we go. Okay. Well, now I'm on to you because the, <laughs> the other one was really cheap. Well, I also teased. Them, well, we'll really see. We'll see. All right. Okay. Do you have a... What do they call this again? The smart, here it is. The LED smart under cabinet light. And why is it smart? Huh? We will it sounds find sharp. Out. Okay. Oh, a magnetic, okay. So we like that, right? I think we like that. Hmm. So it comes with a wow. big magnetic strip that you would fasten up under your counter. Yeah, you'd like and then tape it up sure there. Why yeah. Or adhesive it. Screw this up. Wow. This is really nice. And what is it powered by? I guess we'll see. Um, okay. It's USB-C. I'm not going to fool with those. I hate those little wire things. I have a... I have a, I have a, a power USB-C USB under the desk. down here. That we can power this. All right. Power goes in here. And then... But how Oh, I see. Is it's it? battery powered. So if, I guess if you don't want to leave it plugged in you can just take it down i don't know how often you have to do but we have it's, i emailed the company it's wave. a four thousand milliamp battery in uh, there. i think it's wow i hope there's a way to go into the menu and set the timer down to uh oh, mm, oh. it's nice wave brings the light on by waving it and i can see that there are you can have white, white, or soft white. Let me see, is it dimming? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my God, it's dimming by touching it. And mode. So there's three oh, different colors. It lights. Um... Let's see what else it does. Here. It's very nice looking. It's great looking. And and uh, uh, this is sort of like a bizarre thing with prices, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Okay, so it has a clock display, LCD screen. There's a built-in buzzer, uh, uh, a timer with a buzzer, motion sensor as you approach it, or you can wave your hand to turn it on and off. Touch dimming, color adjustment you just saw, full spectrum LED light source, ultra large. I got battery. one. So that's why two fifty price. It has a magnetic thing. If you don't want to have a wire going to it, just charge it up. I mean, this is really good looking. All right, and now I'll tell you why. Okay, I'm thinking. I think my computer has gone berserk. Like fifty. What would you guess? Like a cheap price, price would be fifteen. Oh, I think a $50? typical price would be. Yeah, I would guess twenty to thirty. Thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. What I paid. I guess it has a, it has a wave good. sensor. Yes. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it would be forty. Five dollars. How could this be? That's ridiculous. What? How can this be? It's six dollars. What? <laughs> it's six dollars. No. It does not it's have a four thousand yeah. milliamp hour battery, yeah. but six dollars is uh, crazy. I don't. I'll look up. Oh. The, I'll look up the price. Oh, later. when I bought it, I but it was twenty nine ninety, and it was a discount. I paid eighteen. Again, have Chad go oh my to. Oh gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm not signed six in box and find out how much this costs. Okay, click in. The last thing that we showed 
It's six bucks to me. Brushes. Signed six out. Bucks. I do a bunch of things with three for five dollars. And now we have this really good looking under counter light with a timer and, and hand motion like it just did. And you can set the, the color mode that you want and it's dimming. How could that be six dollars? I am be I'm suspicious. No, no, I don't know how to be suspicious. Yeah. What could possibly now. be ha the black magic? It is the only thing that can explain <laughs> it. Uh, uh, okay, so two things. I emailed the company. How big is the battery? And can I change this to 12-hour format? And they said, oh, yes, just do this. But all they sent me was the instructions on how to set the time <laughs> or set the timer, but not how to change the it from 24 hour time to 12 yeah, hour yes. time. Yes. And it's interesting. You know that Amazon had start has started using AI to answer your questions? Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's funny. Because you know, above all the reviews, it says, Do you have a question of your own? I typed in, how do I change this into the 12 hour format? And the answer comes back. Go to settings. Look for the icon for date time. <laughs> Go. It, it was it's giving directions stupid, for yeah, some for other a computer. Yeah, yeah, no. no. Yeah, but I mean, if you if if you can live at the military time, uh, and you need an under uh, a counter light under uh, cabinet, cabinet light, light, yeah, this is great for six bucks. It, it, it's. <laughs> And also the buzzer, it, it just buzzes six times. And unless you're in the kitchen, you won't hear it. But the uh, dimming works great. You have your choice of three colors. Uh, you can set it for wave so that you can wave your hand. It'll go on and off. Or you can set it for motion where it will come on when you enter the kitchen. And they do tell you uh, in the uh, instruction booklet for it to work motion, the room has to be uh, on the dark side. So if the lights are on, it's going to be harder to know if someone entered the room. Uh, you can leave it plugged in all the time. And the company says the light will be a bit brighter if left plugged in to oh. be running off a power <clears throat> source. Or just use it off the battery that's built in. I, st I still don't think that it's a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, but I'm, I'm also not a battery chemist. 4,000 seems high. Like really It is high. high. It's very high. But I don't know how batteries work. So yeah, can't, but it, it seems suspiciously high is all I have to say about yeah. that. Right. But the fact you can just run it off the USB-C. Agreed. Agreed. And if it lasts like a week, you know, without needing yeah. to be uh, charged uh, on motion sensing. That'd be a win. Um, so that's great. That's really cool. Uh, insanely inexpensive. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. I don't know how much money they're making on that. Yeah, and, and I see some people talking in the chat. There was a USB-A to C cord that was included, but on the yes. side of the gadget was USB-C. BC, yes, yeah. on the side of the gadget. Exactly, exactly. I don't see Scooter X finding that on AliExpress. I have, I have not, I actually, I have not even been looking at chat. I was reading through the thing. Here, let me see. I don't see any links. Oh, Scooter X. No, oh, Scooter X said, I have nothing even close to that. Yeah. They're liquidating. They're like, you know what? I'm tired of, I'm tired of having this in my, uh, office in this warehouse let's just get rid of them um there's a there's a link to it so okay next gadget okay. i guess next gadget is from here here we go there you go just play the video Edison and i made another thing. trip to five below and then it said, i wonder if we could find something new they did with a mirrored ball don't worry we didn't find anything we found something new they did with a disco light. Oh. 
Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the guy. LED disco toilet light. You got me. Copy I did not expect that. Have a way with words, okay? <laughs> Turn your bathroom into its own disco pad. I did not name with that. The company disco tracks. toilet light to groove your way to the bathroom. <laughs> it's just, it's time for the flush dance. Oh, my gosh. Motion-activated LED light stays on for two minutes after motion ends. This is like top to 10 that. most gizmos gadgets. Soft and gadgets. flexible PVC design can easily be molded to fit any toilet. Okay. Uh, that's going to be part one. <laughs> and then I bought the lightning... LED filament bulb. Ooh, it's a lightning bulb. Oh, you know what? I'm hoping by lightning, I'm hoping that this is like a flashing light. But now that I see what it looks like, I suspect it may just... It's a glowing filament. Yeah, it, you know. You know, it also says if you turn the lamp off, let it cool down before you touch the bulb. But then it says two watts. I mean, how how hot could it get? <laughs> two watts. They're just covering yeah. their butts. Yeah, I think so. All right, that's them. All right. Uh, Blinded by the light. Ooh. That's pleasant. Uh, uh, yeah, it's so it, bright, it, I don't think it shows up. No. In person, it in person you can see, see that. You see a big glowing thing. Oh, my God. All right, well, you know, I'll move back, back, back. No, all you see is a glow. Maybe you... Oh, you don't see it? No. Oh, okay. Turn it off, and I'll get a close-up of it with it. Off. Okay. So you can see what it looks like. For that, should I turn the overhead on? Yeah, it's better. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But it was the same with fireworks. You don't see the little bits of the fireworks. It's just a big washout on the screen. Uh, anyway, well, they look pretty good in that that's video. the LED lightning. And you know, we sometimes go to a website and it's gone up in price. Uh, I checked is, a few minutes also ago a and it says, close out, two bucks. What? And what did yes. Vicky D pay? Yep. Uh, five twenty-five. <laughs> All right. This is the episode of the cheap uh, gadgets. Okay. This is the cheapest episode ever. I I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna break the bank with my gadget. Batteries, three triple A's. Okay. To install it, you bend this little flexible thing back. You have, sort of have to bend it back and push it in a bit. Uh, so that it'll latch on to the lid of the toilet bowl. The sensor has to face forward. All right. It will not work if there's light on in the room. All right. So we have it facing forward. And then, of course, the seat has to come down. Well, the seat doesn't well, we have to have down, the seat but... down for this anyway. And we'll shut the light off. Uh -huh. And I will leave the room. Okay. And it will stay on for two minutes after motion stops. All right. So I'm going to open it up. And this is a way for you to be able to find. <laughs> Whoa! You will not, in the middle of the night, have trouble. I see a very bright future for you, especially if you like disco lights. Yeah, you know. It's great for a party, okay? I think people will be flushed with excitement. Oh, gosh, yes. That's yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> the Disco yeah. Lou! The Disco the Lou. Disco Lou. Disco Lou. Disco Lou. That's a uh, good title, too. <laughs> yeah, but those light bulbs, they're, uh, let me see. There's Flame, Planet, Dollar sign. Oh, there, 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 there's the four of them. Two freaking dollars. Yeah, what on earth? <laughs> uh, 
I just paid five twenty-five. That is so funny. Isn't that a riot? Yeah, close out. And then uh, the LED disco toilet light. I cannot believe I didn't see this before. Honestly, this is uh, <laughs> this is breaking news. Because I would have totally bought that. That is great. Oh, they make a black one too. Either that, or it's just a really bad. <laughs> I, don't I guess know. it's a bad photo. I think yeah. it's a bad photo, honestly. I don't yeah, because you wouldn't want you you want it to be white yeah. to, to match the kimono. Porcelain, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, those were awesome. Uh, mine does not quite fit the theme. Oh, here. Well, let's. Uh, now it's time for. You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okay, I have some explaining to do. So uh, last week, uh, it was tied when I went out to buy the gadget, but by the in by the time we looked at it on the episode, um, Summer Party Backyard Gadgets uh, was winning. So we did music last week, but moving forward in the month, uh, we are doing Summer Party Backyard Gadgets. And this one was really fun. I was thinking, if you're gonna have a backyard party, where do you want a squirt gun? And how can we look for the coolest squirt gun around? So that is what this gadget is all about. Hey Diggy D, so we are back at it with another backyard party summer gadget. And today we are taking a look at an electronic squirt gun, baby. Here it is. It looks quite menacing. Ooh, wow. Uh, here's wow. a box that it came in. The Wheel Maker water gun. It also comes with an extra crazy magazine. You can see some of the colors on the back. Inside of the box, I already took it out. Here are all of the pieces. You get uh, one magazine, and this is actually where you fill up uh, the water. You fill this with water, and then uh, it comes out the top there. Uh, you release this magazine, by the way, with a magazine release button uh, that is right there. There we go. Uh, it also comes with a battery, so a rechargeable battery. The way you recharge it is with this included USB adapter. So this just plugs into whatever uh, wall um, brick you want. This connects, and then there is a little LED inside of this plastic. It's a bit transparent. It'll turn off when it's fully charged. I've gone ahead and uh, already done that. So once you've charged the battery, then you attach it inside of the gun. And with a click, it's there. Oh, okay. There's even a little oh, trough okay. for all the wires to kind of go into down there when you're uh, adding the battery uh, back in. The battery cover does require, it has like a, a nice little gasket on it, as you can see. Uh, and it also requires you to use a screwdriver which they include inside of uh, inside the box. Also included is some safety goggles and this extra large magazine with uh, a, quite a different uh, little, uh, this is how you fill this one up. So you kind of have a extra large capacity and a normal capacity along with some instructions. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the, uh, the water reservoirs and uh, head outside for a little bit of target practice. There we go. Okay, so now that we are outside, uh, I brought the um, goggles with me because I thought I should mention one of the reasons I got this was that it mentioned that it is the most powerful electric squirt gun, which is I guess why they give you the goggles. Um, now I will say these safety glasses, the, the, the optical quality of me looking out through them leads me to believe that they just took a clear uh, plastic water bottle and melted it and squished <laughs> it into the shape of glasses because it is it wavy. I mean, like it is bad. Like I feel like I'm gonna need a prescription after using these for 30 <laughs> minutes. So I'm, because I'm not getting shot at, I'm gonna lose them. Um, here's our target. A classic Amazon box. I thought that, uh, that it, that'd be a good target. We're gonna throw it over there and then I think the water will show up pretty nicely on it. 
So right now I have the smaller of the two magazines. I will say now that I'm out here in public, it feels a little bit real, more realistic than I would. I wish it was like neon green in a way. Okay, yeah. this is what? Maybe 10 feet about? I can hit it. I can hit, I can hit that pretty well. That's actually really impressive. Um, okay, I'm gonna switch out the small magazine. It still has plenty in there, but I just kinda wanna use this big honking one. This is the first wow. time I'm plugging it in, so I bet it will lose, maybe not. It's interesting, this mechanism back here, It you can kind of play with it, it's spring-loaded, but it actually doesn't do really anything. But it is needed to shoot whatever that is shooting, because it does need to act, you can feel it is actually pushing back on that to get whatever uh, water mechanism uh, is going. Okay, I'm gonna move the box further back. Let me, let, let. Okay, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven big steps away. Here we go. Can we hit it? Can I make it over there? Oh, barely. Barely, I'm, I'm fighting the wind. I can tell that I'm fighting the wind. Oh, I think I can hit it again. With the right trajectory. Okay, I'm gonna take one step forward. That is very easy to hit. That seems very fun. Okay, I'm gonna also, it's just water. It's really not, it's really not. It's, it would be a really great water pick. I think this is fun. This is just a great fun little outdoor activity. Um, it was only 30 bucks. Actually, we'll go see the price uh, in the inside and uh, see if it's changed because who knows what the price is uh, right now. Anyway, there you go. The Wheelmaker Electronic Squirt Gun. Okay. <clears throat> um, I did, I wanted to shoot myself and I forgot to mention that I was doing that to see how powerful it was. It really did not hurt. It didn't even sting. Like, honestly, I don't, I don't know about the, it doesn't seem powerful enough to be very concerned is, is all I'm saying. Um, and let's take a look at the Amazon page. It is still 30 bucks. What are your thoughts? Uh, I think it's fun. I think you're right. I wish it was like purple or yeah. lime or, or something. I agree. Uh, after yeah. getting it, I think gray was a <clears throat> terrible mistake. <laughs> yeah. I would not buy gray again. Um, I think I just saw the strongest and just bought the one and then <laughs> didn't think... Even in this image, they don't have the safety color on the front of it, which is insane. Oh, uh, that is terrible. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little, that's a little o scary. Also, uh, Scooter X found it for a dollar. Yes, I did see that. Here, let's go find. <laughs> that's sort of in keeping with the cheapest show, cheapest gadget show ever. Oh, by the way, here, as I was looking for that, check this oh, out. Oh, okay. Oh, 99 cents for that, too? Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, the one Scooter X found isn't quite the same design. Oh, no, it's not. But no. okay. still, a dollar. Um, I wonder if it would work quite the same. I mean, I will give it to this one. Its mechanism is is pretty powerful. It's, it's, it's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, no, it looks good. Um, so, there you go. You know... All that would fix is a can of spray paint. It's just oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and and other than that, I, do, a... I wish that there was maybe a more uh, easy, an easier way to charge it without needing to take a screw. Yeah, that that thing, is. Pull the battery, find that little thing. Like it'd be great if it still had a USB plug that maybe was hidden behind a gasket yeah. window. Uh, that would be quite quite nice. Um, Battery life, I haven't had a chance to run it all the way down. Uh, I was planning on looking at uh, the the 
uh, reviews, nobody really in the reviews mentioned the, that it was bad, bad battery life. So um, I felt like uh, it was great. Um, and, and it seems also uh, that it was powerful throughout, like it didn't slowly die and then shoot less. And I've been using it a bit since the uh, recording the review. Um, so it hasn't died, you know, it feels like the lithium ion type of, you know, it's good until it's just over. Uh, with that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy, when gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play in this gadget warehouse. Fuck on. Our email is from James Dodd, who says, Hi, Dick and Chad. This is my second video. Last time I showed my pool cleaning remote control boat. I have now relocated to Arkansas to work in corporate accounting. At the world's largest retailer. I think we know who that is. <laughs> um, my new video is for a gadget. I wasn't quite sure would be worth the cost. Oh. Um, but see if you enjoy my... It's a very... Uh, well, it, it's a very specific gadget. And I'm glad to know it exists. And yeah. here is James' video. And interesting if... if he if James was curious about the cost that I'm glad we get to see a uh, see a peek into uh, if it was good or not okay here it is I got a new device today that I'm hoping will help out some of you may know what this is but I do not um this is a ring here it's got this is it for and, an and animal? Straps here. Yes. Clips. Not sure if you know what this is for, but it is a anti-collision collar <laughs> for dogs who are blind. Oh my! My dog is blind, and he's over there right now asleep. And I just got this now, and I'm <laughs> interested to try it out and see if it helps him out. He runs into a lot of walls and doorways and things, so we'll see if it works. Oh my gosh, and as an added benefit, he'll get FM radio. <laughs> yes. So he doesn't seem to be disturbed by it. That's great! It just kind of holds him there. Like, yeah. Don't, don't go any further. He said, I think I'll go in a different direction. The work outside. I guess he runs into less things outside. Oh, boing! Success! Yeah, I <laughs> thought it's going to be a lot of money since it's a pet gadget. Yeah, and it seems very specific. Yes, it's very specific pet yeah. gadgety. So that. But he sent a link, and okay. I believe it was twenty dollars. Well, that's at, darn at, at, reasonable. At, yeah, at Walmart. Yeah, twenty-one dollars. That's great. That really is great. Wow. Yeah. I love the the that mechanism. Really does feel like when it you know as it bumps something, it's kind of kind of squeeze. Would kind yeah. of imagine, or maybe it, maybe it would expand. I don't know, but that, it, it seems like a nice way to stop the dog is. Through. Yeah, instead of hitting a wall or yeah. a fence or something hard. Yeah. Um, I, I think he'll... He also said that um, it doesn't bother the dog drinking or eating his food. So that's also good. That's great. Um, that's yeah. Great. I did not know. James, this is great. It's a, it's a great gadget. Yeah. I'm glad to, to know about it yeah. if I ever run and into guess, somebody. And I guess, you know, I was just that. thinking... Worst case, they run fast into something, but I don't think blind dogs run very fast. No, my guess is they wouldn't. <laughs> this is kind of a, the I'm situation sure. you're in. You're not a quick-moving dog if you're a blind dog. Yeah, no. That's a, that's a really, I think that's an insanely reasonable price. That's great. That's cool. Uh, uh, with so that. James, oh, I yeah. will get you the current issue of Mad Magazine. 
And we're always looking for new videos, uh, videos about anything, two to three minutes, um, as James did, just horizontal format. Make sure we can hear you and see the gadget. You can be in it if you want, or you can just show the gadget and talk about it. Uh, put it up on YouTube. Uh, click on listed when you upload it. And then send us the URL, mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it now. Uh, thank and you, you, you'll James. get the current issue of Mad Magazine when we show it, as James will get now. Woohoo! With that, let's move on to the letter. Our letter, I hope uh, she I, is in chat, okay? It's from Rachel. Last sim, week we sims did the... Sims to Rachel. The, sims <laughs> to Rachel. Hair Over. chalk with the way you comb. And Rachel sent in a photo, uh, and she said, hair wax is better. And she said, my hair is brown, but I have a gray streak. Yeah. And I find it's fun to color my gray streak. And then just before the show, she sent another video of her doing it. And Chad and I were talking. And we thought, well, let's do that video next week as the Gadget Warehouse. Yeah. If yeah. you want to learn how to use uh, co uh, comb wax, not the wax. chalk. The hair wax the, instead of the, the hair wax. chalk. Um, uh, so, Rachel, thank you for the video, uh, which we'll show next week. And thanks for the photo. Yeah. Red, white, and blue. Yeah. 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 And she right. said, uh, and she'll explain in the video why the wax is better for someone with dark hair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there, there she is. Yeah. Since nice. Rachel is in a... chat. Yeah. Yeah. Cliffhanger, uh, says, says Sims to Rachel. Yeah. You have to come back next. So Rachel week. will show you a video next week. That's really, really cool that uh, I like just seeing that. Seems like the wax is better than the chalk. We saw the chalk on your mustache last week. Uh, and it was, yeah, it, it, it's a lot of work for very little color. Yeah, she might have to. She may convince you with the uh, the video next week. So, <laughs> so we'll keep our eyes peeled. Uh, I want to say a huge thank you to our patrons over at Patreon.com/slash/Gizwiz. Thank you all. So, so, so much for supporting us and supporting this show. You guys are incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I think there's three of you on PayPal who still do reoccurring. Thank you all so much for your recurring payments. However you support our show, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you like the Gizwiz, please consider giving back to us over at patreon.com slash gizwiz or our website, gizwiz.tv. There's a Patreon tab at the top of the website. And there's a PayPal link on that page, as well as a big banner that'll take you to our Patreon, which we'll be talking about. However you support us, thank you. And um, moving on. Uh, head on over to gizwiz.tv to watch the show live. We're live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. If there is a update, the website uh, will uh, have uh, the schedule updated at the top of the website. Um, so head on over there and uh, around 4.30 uh, Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time, and watch the show. Chat along with everybody. If you're not there when we're live, all of our episodes are there after the fact up on the website. So uh, check it out. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, the CKD's website. He writes articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about. So if you ever need a reminder or a link back to a gadget, head on over to gizwiz.biz. While you're there, play, what the heck is it? The Gadget Game Show Online. What on earth is this thing? You gotta, you gotta guess. You gotta guess. Um, and I absolutely, uh, I knew what this was the moment I saw it. Uh, as for those of us with thin noses, it is a nose stretcher. Uh, I always need a little bit of extra width in my nose. And I hate how pointy it is. 
I bought one of those in eighth grade. <laughs> uh, if you think you know what it is, get a guess in. Uh, six Mad Magazines for correct answers, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, or interesting answers. So get a guess in over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>